Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, friends, family of, of Peter Oliver, you look fantastic. So it's great to see so many people. So thank you for coming. On behalf of the International Water Centre, the University of Queensland, and the Lung Foundation, it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to Dr. Peter Oliver's retirement lecture. My name is Paul Lant. I'm the head of the School of Chemical Engineering at UQ. And I've had the great honor of working with Peter for the last five years through the International Water Centre and through a number of activities at UQ. Now, I was about to say that this is a bit of an unusual event. This is an unusual event. However, whenever you teach with Peter, there is no usual. Um, so, you know, this is, Peter's prepared all of us. Anybody's taught with him, we're, we're prepared for these kind of things. So my experiences with Peter include singing with Libyan water professionals in Tripoli, building sandcastles. These are all teaching experiences, building sandcastles on the beach at Strabag Island with a lot of master students, a lot of them here today. Um, painting pictures of futuristic sustainable cities with a group of talented individuals at Noosa. Uh, teaching with Peter has always been an amazing and challenging and confronting experience. Um, and I trust today will be, will be the same. So just an introduction. The session is going to be two hours. Um, we'll start with a, an introduction and then Peter's going to give a, a, a seminar. Typical Peter Oliver, this isn't just a seminar, so Peter's going to make you work. So clearly it's a workshop. If you're expecting food, this isn't a set up for lunch. So this is actually a workshop. Um, what we're looking for is you guys will be involved. There'll be an interactive session. We're looking to gather um, feedback and ideas um, and recommendations. And Peter will lead that, that workshop in about 40 minutes or so. Right, I would now like to invite um, a dear colleague of all of ours, Professor Bill Dennison, who is Vice President for Science Applications at the University of Maryland, and Bill just flew in from the USA this morning. Um, I'd like to invite Bill to introduce our guest speaker for the day.